good homo squad it's your boy homo ziggy we back here with another reaction for y'all and as you see by this i'm using my obs again yeah i see me in a little square and such hi i'm down here but yeah but as you see we here with hala cg brat and it's featured with lychee and amv now i'm get, and it's like this I figured since right since we're in March and it's woman happy International Woman Day and such or happy Women's History Month and such look why not just start doing some of the nerdcore females because let's face it I've been saying a lot of times when it comes to this female artist for the real like the genuine female artist nine times out of ten and most men would agree with this. They be doing way more better. Straight up. So, hey, we ain't gonna waste no time. You about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Hold on, first of all, <laughs> first of freaking all, well, to be honest, in a way, with a title that's called Brat, let me speak, I'm going to speak more into it here, with a title that's called Brat, in a way, I kind of was expecting this, because, come on, they're li literally the first scene, li like the first show, the first, like, plot of it said death note like the first little frame and such said death note so nine times out of ten it was gonna come with some toxic and such and it's with lychee on it yeah it was gonna get toxic <laughs> And look, let me just say this on the record that I support all the hard working women out there, all the women who want to get theirs and such, and actually be real with themselves and such, and actually try to value themselves as high and such. But let's be real out there. Nine times out of ten, there are a lot of y'all women who are just like this. Like a little brat sometimes. Be reasonable. Be, if we're going to be real, let's be real. There's a lot of y'all women out there who are acting like little brats. Who are in their 30s acting like they're 13 again. <laughs> And with songs like this, it be gassing y'all up. Hold on, let me drop the quality a little bit because it's going a little bit uh -uh and such. But now, let's be real. Some of y'all women out there are like toxic as hell. And some guys love it. Me, on the other hand, it's basically like this one. Me, I don't mind a little rough. Just a little rough. I ain't saying all the rough. Because if you're all the rough with me, I'm sorry. I ain't going. It's basically like this. I'm being real with y'all. I am not dating another woman who feels like she's a man. Who has this masculine energy. Nah, I'm sorry. You can be a little tough. I ain't saying you got to be a whole lot of tough. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're always tough with masculine energy and you come in toxic as hell. Bye. <laughs>
Now look, when you see this video, you probably will, you probably will like. I just want to wonder. There be if y'all remember, I used to. There will be songs where she always goes into this, like in anime terms, yandere status, where there are them some them some some psychotic women who let's be let's be let's be real. Most women are like this. Who who like this type of status they have that yandere status where they like a little pain. Or not even a little pain, a lot of pain. Like what the hell is wrong with y'all sometimes? I swear. All I can say is, all the e to here's my type of woman, right? In a way, I have sometimes there are certain types of women I like that might surprise y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I might like a little goth in you, not fully goth where you freaking drinking blood or what not and whatever and such, or doing some type of weird voodoo like. Voodoo shit or whatever, or in Jamaican term, obvious shit or whatever. But I like a little goth in you, just a little. You don't gotta be a lot. It don't gotta be a minimum. Just you just gotta be in between where you can mix in the goth, but still like have good other music taste and such. So I might like a little goth, but if you're this level, <laughs> look, Hello, Hello, and Michi, I can say the music. It got that dark tone, all right. This is the type of song where, for toxic ass women, like toxic gothic ass women, this is their anthem. I'm just saying. But for me personally, if I'm gonna go for a goth girl, she gotta have a little bit. I'm not saying she gotta have this whole big persona of it, just a little. Cause who knows? I might like it a little. All I can say is, knowing how YouTube is, is basically like this. This video right here, I'm, I don't know where to put an age restriction or not. Because let's face it, the fact is that one of my videos before has got an age restriction. Even if my channel is not that big yet and such, I don't have 1K yet. Which, which, why, which by the way, y'all need to subscribe to the channel. What y'all doing? But the fact is that. It just shows you it don't matter if you got less if you got a hundred subscribers, one K subscribers, ten K subscribers, a hundred K subscribers, or a milli subscribers. If you're reacting to something that is oh, like freaking crazy as hell, you might get an age restrict. So nine times out of ten I feel like I should either put a warning warning like this or not. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's not, but whatever. Let's see what Alright, so yeah, that was Hella CG and Lichi with Pratt. All I can say is from that song, this is definitely a toxic girls, or not even toxic girls, screw all that. 
This is a yonder status like anthem. Yonder anthem right here. Because the lyrics themselves were like explicit as hell. Nietzsche freaking saying, I'll eat you till you're numb. Imagine that. You eat a girl until she's numb. Like, how is that? You know what? Let me not even go into that because I might probably. Because I don't know how you can do that, but. Mm. But either way, this was probably not the greatest start to the greatest start to me reacting to it, reacting to a song that's about women. But I digress. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction down in the comments below. And if you like how I'm doing with the OBS and such with this setup and such, let me know what you think about it. If I'm too loud on the mic or so, or would you want me to just go back to the camcorder? Because sometimes I want to start experience, I want to start using my OBS more, even though some of the times with the, well, not some of the times, most of the times you already see with quality and such. It's a little bit fuzzy, you can say. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the reaction in this video, you're a real humble squad member, comment down below. Comment down below yonderi and that lets me know you made it this far but yeah it's been your boy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up let go